you know, there's so many highlights that for every patient actually there's a highlight. And I think that's the best highlight you can ever have. Not only one, but so many that every uh, patient will benefit. So that's very beautiful of this uh, ash. And, and what I showed, it's not only about efficaciousness, but it's also about improving the life of patients. I already spoke about dex-free uh, regimens. Uh, I also want to comment on the fact that every patient wants to be at home instead of in the hospital. We all know with the bispecific antibodies, you'll have to be admitted in the beginning because cytokines are released. You can get fever, your blood pressure can uh, decrease. So the cytokine release syndrome, you have to be in a hospital to be treated for that. And there was also a study being presented in which they start a treatment already before you have the cytokine release syndrome. And they saw there was a decrease in the cytokine release syndrome from 80 to 30 percent, 90 to 30 percent. And so probably that will enable to give the treatment in the outpatient clinic. So also for the quality of life, there are many highlights. And so it's about length, but also quality of life. It was a very beautiful ash also for patients. So uh, we were involved also in the CARDIGIT 2 trial, which is a CAR T cell trial uh, with SILTA cell against BCMA on the plasma cell. And we know that the prognosis of patients has enormously improved. But there are patients with a very early relapse, so already within 12 months after their stem cell transplantation. And we also know that the prognosis of those patients is inferior. So in that situation, uh, the CAR T cell therapy was investigated. The uh, response rate was very high, uh, reaching almost 90%. And also after 18 months, so 18 months later, uh, still 80% of the patients were in remission. So the median progression free survival will be very long. So I think that's very optimistic for those patients who have high risk disease because of an early relapse. During the meeting, also the CARMA2, uh, data were presented in a similar population of patients. So uh, their first relapse after the start of the therapy, but that resembles a little bit 12 months after your stem cell transplantation because you have induction therapy. And also in this uh, situation, the overall response rate were high, although less than with uh, SILTA cell. It was a long duration of, uh, of response for those patients who had a response. Um, and so that's also very hopeful for patients who are having early relapses and I think uh, important developments.